So we are just pushing out of the inner dock at Viana do Castello. Notice one of the uh, rescue boats that's been patrolling off of the coast here for um, trying to encourage uh, yachts to stay as shallow as possible. So he was out yesterday just sort of chasing people in, in shallow. We were, we were of course in as shallow as we could possibly get. Um, yeah. So they are trying to do something about it. It's always interesting to see other rescue boats having worked at the RNLI. It's quite the monument on the way in. And she's got her bra on. Jose Duarte, Jose Duarte, Yacht Ragdoll, Yacht Ragdoll, a stern of you leaving Viana do Castello. Am I clear to transit on your port side? Over. Yes, yes, you can uh, pass me by port side. Understood, thank you, Ragdoll out. There we go. Dredging away. So I've got to just balance between him the rocks. Let's see if we can do so. That's not a big gap. I'll go shooting down his port. Right, let's get some smash on. This is a little bit tight, so he's going that way. That's the rocks there. Plenty water fortunately. I'm just gonna have to make sure I don't uh, hit him. Give him a wee wave. Cheers! <laughs> okay, and we're out. Depths are good. Follow of the dredger. Very good. So it's pretty much been a day of motoring for us. We're now approaching Porto finally. We've had the sails up most of the day to try and balance the rolling a little bit. And um, not much has happened. It's been a fairly straightforward fishing boy dodging kind of motor type of day says it all right on it Providing all goes well tonight, um, tomorrow we might be heading south to forget the falls, if all goes well. Um, and really kind of make our way down south now quite quickly to get to the Algarve, where we plan to spend a couple of weeks exploring and... <laughs> that's adorable! Um, exploring the area and just um, taking a little bit of Portugal in before we skip back to Spain, Gibraltar and into the Mediterranean. Although uneventful, we've um, seen some dolphins, we've seen some tuna and thankfully no orcas. We have for the most part kept to 15 to 20 meters um, of water. I don't think we've really gone out of the 20 meter contour on this um, part of the coast, which is quite easy to maintain and certainly um, a peace of mind and safety that, at least in some respect, we are reducing the risk of an interaction. So, yeah, it's been a fairly boring, but it's been nice in that it's just been quiet and enjoyable.
now heading up to Dura River, I think it's called and pronounced that, um, where we're going to try and anchor for the night, um, see what the anchorages around here look like. And if we don't think they're suitable, then we'll maybe find a marina. But we've got a couple of good options. Um, so we'll see how we get on, how we get on. Coming into Porto, this is water, water flow in the river. You can see it building up on the boy there. We're pushing for about five knots, but making it three over the ground. So you really do have to push in here. And I'm gonna go and just make sure I don't get all over the place. Yep, I was going all over the place. So these two doggies have had a lovely lunchtime run on the beach. And the definition of peace. It's like us two after being married for a month. So a few minutes ago the local ladies were all in here washing away and that's their clothes just drip drying there. Oh, what a cool place, I've never seen anything like it. And better yet, just wait till you see where they dry them, it looks cool as heck, it's very different. <laughs> So this is just like Cruden Bay in Aberdeenshire, isn't it? What do you like best about Portugal so far? Hmm, I like the temperature of the water and the heat outside. <laughs> so the fruit and veggie market was a hit. What did we get, Jasper? We got three bananas, a few oranges, a three pairs for the dogs, some salad and... Some yeah. salads. Because, yeah, when we get back, we're going to make a smoothie, right? Here's Chris in his natural habitat looking for a chandlery. There he is. Oh, oh, oh he's found one. He, found he has found it and he's probably going to buy half of it again. We're all waiting until Chris makes his essential purchases. A small change of plans has just occurred. Jasper is going to a sailing school in Porto starting Saturday. So we're going to be singing in Porto for maybe a little bit more than two days. Depends if I like it or not. He <laughs> doesn't know how lucky he is, really. I learned to sail in the time in winter. Yeah, I had I to just... break ice off the boat to get it into the sea. That just makes me more nervous. And he'll be doing it in 30 degree heat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And till next time.